<laughs> Wait, actually, you know what? We just read before we came in here. You know, everybody always says it's loosely based on Mark Wahlberg's life. And then Wikipedia said that it was more tightly based on your life, which sounds like it's not about either of your lives. Then it's just a fucking story. <laughs> it was it was a, it's a story. But of course, it was inspired by Mark's life. But the first thing I said to him is like, I don't really know your friends like I need to. I need to make this New York and I need Got to make are just my friends while using because I'm not a movie star and I haven't had the rise that Mark had, which is right. basically also part of the, the struggle of the show. Everyone's like, you know, why does everything work out? I'm like, because it all works out for fucking Mark. <laughs> it did. Look like, at Mark Wahlberg, man. It fucking worked I try, out. I try to keep him down so much more than like Mark's actual life. But the truth is, I wanted a Sunday night that you had fun and you felt good. And you didn't. Yes. Like, yeah. And you know what? Like, Every fucking showrunner and writer tries to get so cute with it now. And I think there's something to be said. I think the reason why every show with the finale always kind of drops the ball is because you're afraid to wrap it up in a bow. And it's just like, just fucking wrap it up. People like it. Just give them what they want and let the haters fucking cry about it. Yeah, well, it's gonna wrap it up. Uh, well, I, nicely. I, yeah. I, also, I do like I do like all our endings, but I'll, I'll end it with this. I mean, I did because I was so tired of people like they started doing sketches. Oh, everything's all good and making fun of us. I was going to kill Vince in the finale. Oh, <laughs> you should have done that. You definitely either wrap it up or burn it down. I like how Kevin went the exact opposite. He's wrap it up actually, or burn yeah. it down. That's fucking can imagine, great. Can you imagine drama as a Paul Bearer? Oh. Okay, so Wahlberg, Wahlberg, who really was the fucking best producer ever and was supportive and helped us get when we needed Tom Brady, Scorsese, James Cameron, whatever. But he called me up and said, are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> How were you going to kill him? What was going to be the cause of death? It was going to be an OD or yep. something. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that would have been dark and great. And, and no one would have seen it coming. Nobody. They were, you know, they were, they were, again, no regrets, but we were getting this negative energy towards oh. the end of the show, which I look back on it now. I'm like, fuck you. You know, like yeah. I wanted people and I do think, the our quarter audience on Sunday night, they left at the end of eight seasons and they felt good. Like they, it wasn't, you know, so but I wanted to shock the shit out of people. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> Dude. I think Mark was right. I the think Mark he was definitely right. That was gonna <laughs> the, o the OD is perfect too, because I re I still remember when uh it's it, season seven when when Vinny's in the hospital and it's just a Ziploc bag of Coke. Like, it is <laughs> the most cocaine you've ever seen in your life. And it's like, this was in Vin's pocket. I'm like, I don't think that could fit in Vin's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, though, because when this show started, I was just like, like, cocaine. I was like, it's such a dirty drug. That's not what's going to be what this show is. This is not mm -hmm. a bunch of, like, drug addicts in Hollywood. This is going to be, like, good guys in Hollywood, right. kind of, you know? And, oh. and, uh, and you know, but I, I still, I love the Sasha stuff. I that mean, was I really, dark dark year listen <laughs> get the band back together shoot one more um, scene you'll break the fucking it, internet with a vinnie chase death scene just do it is there yeah. any truth that didn't piven say recently that like there's maybe uh a reboot or a spin-off or whatever coming maybe he's writing it but i'm mm. not I don't know. <laughs> it, it did sound like he was yeah, angling for himself yeah. Yeah. i might do i might do a johnny drama spin yeah the whole come on, baby the whole hollywood thing I mean, listen again the show to me like Piven was incredible. There's nobody on earth that could have been better in that role. But the show, what always was the thing for me was the four guys were the core and the friendship and the loyalty of it is far more interesting to me than Hollywood stuff. So Hollywood, I, exactly. Like, yeah. you know, so I don't even want to watch Hollywood in 2020, to be honest with you. But uh, but you know, the it 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 we had its run. The only thing I would even contemplate anymore is animated, which we've talked about a little bit. But um, Johnny Bananas, baby. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny Bananas. Bananas. Listen, listen, Entourage fans will put out watch anything you guys put out. So.